Alright, what is up? We are here with a little game called Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, this is gonna be a playthrough. I just have to do a video and I don't feel like playing Marvel right now. Um, basically, this coming Monday, I go back to school. So just wanted to let you all know that, that, uh, depending on the workload, I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, like, an insane amount of work for the classes. I just, I don't know. But if it does end up being that, then just letting you know, videos become pretty scarce, you will know why. That is the reason. Um, also, I mean, I wouldn't really expect anything forthcoming, like, extremely soon to begin with, because, to be perfectly honest, I'm really just, I've gotten to that point again where, like, I need to recharge my batteries, I'm, like, I'm not having fun playing against the general online population, which I'm sure you probably will understand why if you play online. It's just, you know, I can go into the reasons, but there's no reason to. So, um... We're gonna show off a little gameplay of this just so we can, just because we can. Let's make it interesting. Now, firstly, for those of you that know and are probably sitting like, oh my god, he got a PS3. This is a PlayStation 3 exclusive game. I didn't. I have a friend that went on vacation. He's on vacation uh, out of the country for two weeks. And so because of that, he was like, look, man, I know you enjoy games like this. You gotta play this damn game right now. I'll loan you my PS3 while I'm out of the country. You know, and just have fun, play it. And I was like, okay, cool, thank you, appreciate it. And so that's why I'm playing this right now. But so I don't, don't be like, oh my god, he's got a PS3, because technically I don't. Um, what else? Alright, so, I don't really know what the fuck I want to do right now, anyway. Um, okay, firstly, let's just mention, I downloaded some demos recently. I didn't know until somebody on a Marvel board was like, Oh my god, you should release Asura's DLC. I just played the demo and it was awesome. And um, I went to, I hadn't checked demos for a long ass time. So I went, checked that out, downloaded it, saw the Final Fantasy 13 2 was there, downloaded it. God damn it, man. The voice acting in both of those games and both of those demos was just god awful. It was so bad. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty... Uh, strict on voice acting to begin with like I actually play a lot of the like lesser known Japanese RPGs just like on mute just because I can't stand the voices like I'm pretty I'm pretty judgmental of voice acting I'll be perfectly honest and so like it may not be bad for you but for me I hated it plus they both had to use like quick time events all over the place I hate those two which makes me really sad and the Asura's Wrath demo did the exact opposite of what a demo was supposed to do. I'm actually not going to buy that game anymore because just because it was way too easy. Like, I'll rent it at the very least, but that game was just so retardedly easy in the demo. It was like you could not die. You, I could literally probably just sit there and mash on all the face buttons and eventually I would win. Like, honestly, I didn't felt that way. And then, I don't know, I didn't really play the Final Fantasy 13 2 one, because I'm going to get it anyway. But whatever, alright, so anyways, moving on. Uh, what the hell do I want to do? Right. See, this mission is actually, I don't know, for those of you that play this, you may uh, know, like, where I'm at, what I'm doing right now, etc. That was a bad, I guess, a waste. You may know what I'm doing right now. Um, this mission is, like, this is the first mission that I've failed, ever. Like, the rest of the missions were all pretty easy overall, but this one is just, this one's kicking my ass, I'll be perfectly honest. But I'm hoping I'm actually doing really good right now. So I'm hoping that this doesn't end up, like, cursing me or something. Because if it does, I shall be very, very, very sad. See, the problem is this tank right here. The big-ass thing is, like, kind of looks like a bee a little bit. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. But that thing, if I position my tank wrong, that's my tank right there, as you can see underneath it. If I position my tank wrong... It can get one shot. And so, like, uh, there's twice now that I've actually, like, either I have my tank in, like, a good spot. See, it's actually going to get shot right now, but it shouldn't get one shot. Thank God. But it is going to get shot. That is just... Oh, fuck you. 
But if you get shot by the front cannon, it's actually an instant. You just... Your tank is immediately killed, and that's an instant loss for the mission. Which is quite saddening. And so I've lost that way a couple times. The other one, that, like, the one that really, like, legitimately pissed me off so much. There was this one, actually, what am I, I should actually have shit. Let's see if I can't do this. I should have put it on the other side. So that was a waste. It was a waste of movement options, but whatever. We got there. We got where we wanted to go. I should actually kind of turn it around a little bit to... Whatever. Whatever, fuck it. That should be fine. If it's not, I'm going to get real goddamn sad, but I'm pretty sure that's in the blind spot. But yeah, like, I've actually lost uh, this mission, I think, three times now. Like... The very first time I ended up losing, um, it was just I misplayed, I put the tank in a bad spot, I didn't know it was gonna get one shot, so I was like, yeah, whatever, it'll be fine, and then it got one shot, and it obviously, it obviously was not fine, it was quite far from fine, son of a bitch. And the second time I lost, I was one turn away, I was one goddamn turn away from winning. And I ended up, uh, what happened? Oh, right. The tank, that tank moved, and it was right here, actually. And it turned around. And because it turned around, it actually moved my tank into the firing spot. So then it shot my tank and killed it. And that was a turn. That was quite literally the turn before I would have won. Like, one turn more, if it hadn't shot and killed my tank, I would have I would have won the mission. So that's how that one worked out. And then the other one, um, I actually got to a point where it was actually more or less around, right around this point, actually. Um, and to beat this tank, you have to, like, you have to climb up and, um, like, throw a grenade into the shit that cools the tank down. And then by, you know, by doing that, I should have it right here. And by doing that, you have to destroy three of them. So I destroyed two of them. I was going on my way to destroy the last one. And then my dude got killed by this, like, uber unit. Which you will see in a moment. You'll meet you'll meet the unit in a moment. Which pretty much one-shots everybody except your tank. And killed it. And then they killed me the next turn. Which made me very... I can't begin to describe how sad that made me. Which is not a good moment. But yeah, so this... I mean, this mission really has legitimately just been beating the shit out of me. And I get scared every time this shit happens. Because I don't know if it's firing at the wall, or if, like, I put my tank in a bad spot and it's going to fire up a tank. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, good. We good. We're okay. But yeah, that shit is stressful, because you just don't know. And that should be it. Thank God they don't actually use all that shit that they have available to them. Because if they did, I would just be, I would be done, like, so quickly. It wouldn't even be fair. That's always good when you're like just dropping in a grenade into a big ass like container right in front of you and you're begging for it to hit. Alright, so here comes here comes the fun times. Reinforcements and stuff. And that chick, you can't hurt her at all. She's an invincible unit. In this stage at least. I'm sure later on down the road we'll be able to kill her. But right now she's absolutely invincible and one shots everything. And it makes me very sad. I actually need to look. Who made this game? I'm trying to see. It doesn't say on this shit. Because the graphics of this are very reminiscent. I don't know how many of you guys have played Eternal Sonata. But they're, it's, they're very similar. So I'm kind of curious if the same people did it. But I'm not sure. 
I know Sega. I don't know if this was made by... If this was made by Sega, then it's definitely not the same people. I know Sega at least produced it, though. But yeah, see, like, now we got them all the way up there. And they are going to beat the ever-loving shit out of me. It's going to hurt. And I'm actually gonna hide. See, I'm planning ahead now for this. Trying to be strategic and whatnot. Hiding my most mobile units that have a lot of grenades behind the tank that she can't hurt. So that when this this thing's gonna move eventually, and it's probably gonna end up shooting the shit out of my tank. Ooh, this might actually be bad. Uh, no, it should be fine. I was gonna say, because, like, this tank moves over here, hits that, and then turns around, and turns this way. But, ooh, I need to take that shit down. Good thing I was looking at that, or I would have just not paid any attention whatsoever. And they would have just gone right by that thing, and I probably would have ended up, like, losing the entire fucking map because of it. Which would obviously make me a very, very sad person. I basically, the only reason this dude is here right now is just in case some, like, random unit comes up this way. Because if they, they could possibly take your camp, and if they take this camp, I'll lose. I've never had anybody actually come that way. They always go down this way to guard the tank. But just in case, I would like to be prepared. So I guess I'm pretty much done now. I guess really, I don't really have anything else to do. I will do it. I don't really use these that often. I haven't had to, so I forgot which ones I actually even had. But now that we got that shit, what else can we do? Anti-tank. That doesn't count. There's the one thing I wish about this game that would make it better is if you could skip all the animations. Because I'm pretty sure it's already determined. Like, uh, okay, shit. I'm pretty sure it's already determined. Like, the second you attack something, exactly what's going to go down. But, so it would be nice to be able to skip all these scenes, make it a little bit faster. But hey. That's why I always inevitably do. I don't know how many of you guys have played Fire Emblem, but in Fire Emblem, uh, they have, like, if you attack something, they have, like, a kind of cinematic version of it. But then they also have a, um, you can turn the cinematic off so that it just, like, you roll up to the unit, you say attack, it just shows you the numbers, and then you're pretty much done. And so, yeah, so my tank's about to get hit again. Actually, this may be a problem. <laughs> Shit. See, what I need to remember, actually is where these units, like, where these things, well, mm. see, the problem is if you try to plan ahead for something, you're usually putting your tank in the line of fire to begin, oh, sweet Jesus, she's dead. That's never happened before. That's kind of a bummer. What a bitch. You are a bitch. I'm just throwing that out there. Shit, is she gonna walk by and just kill everybody? Please don't. But see, yeah, she's, like, absolutely no damage whatsoever, doesn't matter. That's the entire reason I positioned them there, was so they would, like, shoot the living shit out of everything that walked by. My problem right now is, one of the units up there is an anti-tank dude, and so if he actually hits my tank, that could actually potentially end uh, badly for me. Why aren't you guys shooting him? You're there for the sole purpose of shooting that motherfucker as he runs by, and you don't, okay, whatever. I ain't even mad. It's all good. The other problem... Oh, shit, he's moving. The other problem I have with this game is that, like, there's always a chance... I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Shh. Okay. <laughs> like that. Like, the aim is just completely random. You can, t you can line it up how you want. But there's still always a possibility that it'll miss. It'll just completely whiff your shot. 
And so that's why actually there are sniper units in this game, and I despise using the sniper units. Because, you know, they pretty much kill everything in one shot. There we go, that's how you do it. They pretty much kill everything in one headshot, but they miss, like, probably half the time, 50% of the time. That shit is frustrating when you're like, all right, I need this one unit down, this dude is the one that can do it, you're a sniper, you're supposed to have good aim, and then you whiff completely. Like, that's just ridiculously frustrating. Cannot begin to describe how much that makes me, how angry that makes me. The other problem is, like, I don't know why they build up, this is my other problem with this mission, is they build up all that, all these command points, which are like the little emblems you see at the top, and when these dudes come in, they get to use every single one of them. So, like, as you can see, these dudes are just going nuts right now. Fuck, see, right there, like, he just randomly got a perfect shot. Now my dude's wide open. But thankfully, they all go down there. Actually, that's actually probably better. I'm actually kind of glad they're doing that, because that means he's not shooting at my tank and hurting my tank. Because <laughs> if he had been, I would be in tears, because they probably would have killed it. See, like, they just keep going. It's just non-stop. Kill him. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I should have positioned... Well, I did have one position further up. I had the scout position further up, but... That bitch killed her on the way there. Like a bitch. Oh, shit. <sighs> See, like right there. He shouldn't have made that shot, but he did. <laughs> Because this game has a huge luck component to it. And that's that's my problem with this mission, is it's just there's a huge luck component to this mission. Sometimes you sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. And when you're not, you lose, and you have to this mission takes a long ass time. Like how what are we at right now? We're at 17 minutes. I it's probably already been like I've probably already been at this mission for about 10 minutes before I started recording. So like to go through a long ass mission like this. And then have you basically just be kind of, you know, like, you basically get BS'd out. And to have that happen is just some of the most frustrating, just one of the most frustrating moments you could possibly imagine. Can I get to that side of it? There's no way I'll be able to stay on this side of it. Oh, thank Christ. See, the problem is, again, like... See, when this tank moves again, I am going to be within... I'm going to be. I'm going to get shot again. There's really no way around it. Like, all that I can hope is this dude only gets one shot on me. That's all I can really hope for, is that this dude only gets one shot on me. Oh, I'll run fast. Whoo! Can she run through here? Nope. Well, I guess we're staying right here, then. Actually, I won... Oh, my God, I've never tried this before. I have... There's no reason why this should work. But, oh, my God, if it does... Oh my god. Does this work? Oh my god. Dude, that what? Nobody ever told me that shit works! God damn it! Oh my god, I would never have lost this fucking mission if I had known that worked. I've been being like super fucking careful this entire time because I was worried about getting shot by the back end of that tank. And this entire time I could have just done that. Ain't that just a bitch? Alright, well you, you know, you, you stop shooting me, I'm shooting you. You are incorrect in your assumption of how this relationship works. You just die. It makes me so mad that I didn't know that this entire time. I don't think they told me. I'm fairly certain they didn't tell me. Oh good, I'm gonna just get a... I get to line up an easy ass shot against this dude. Actually, it'd be better, because these dudes don't actually shoot at you, but these do. These units, they will. The fuck? Fine. I'll put a grenade in your mouth, then. And hurt myself, because I'm an idiot. Whatever. Don't judge me. Yes, I know you're an old man, but you're an old man that's in position to kill people.
Alright, so honestly, like at this point in time, I should just get rid of him. Well, Let's do this. should actually ensure that I kill everything first before I waste stuff. Really? That did 11 damage? A grenade exploding at his balls does 11 damage? If you insist, Valkyria Chronicles. If you insist. Oops. Yeah, it would probably be good if I wasn't just shooting the wall. Alright, good. Good! Everything is gravy now. We're in a good spot. Ah, shut the fuck up. Quit your bitching. Actually, that is a horrible spot to put her. Oh well, whatever. That's like right in the tank's path, but whatever. I ain't even mad. Alright. So... Actually, I need to hurry this shit up. The camera, the battery is flashing at me, saying, Motherfucker, you got like five minutes left. We gotta finish this shit. Alright, so here's hoping that I don't get blown up too hard here. Because that tank's gonna move. And honestly, that bitch might just kill me. I'm not sure. But that bitch might kill my two units that I have set up to take out this tank. Actually, she shouldn't be able to target the one that's on the side, so I think I should be good. She might be able to attack the one that's behind, though. Depends on her movement. Depends entirely on how she moves. Yeah, you're fine. So let's see. What's, what is... It's, I hate this shit so much. Oh good, she's moving that way. Don't shoot her! Don't show her where you are, you asshole! Leave it alone! You can't do shit! Alright, so... Now here's my biggest problem. I don't even know. I don't know which... I'm gonna use the tank right now. To figure this shit out. Which one's still active? Seriously? What the fuck? Why can't I move? Wow, this is kind of stupid. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, there we go. Right there. Good. Good. Alright, so I think... I think we win now. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure I left the back one. I should have... Oh my god, dumb... Oh, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I got so scared. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure the back, the one I left the one in the back open solely for that because I knew she would be moving around there. So I left it somewhere where she couldn't be shooting me at. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's just check. We can check. Fuck. Alright, so it's not that one. So it should be the one on this side. If not, then I planned horribly and I'm a complete fucking retard. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We good. Let's climb off. Just chill over here. Just chill. This is an order. Can you skip this? I'm hitting every single button possible right now. You cannot skip this. All right. Good to know. Okay, that's pointless. That one's already lying down. We good. I don't know why I did that. I'm just wasting time, I guess. I'm so scared right now, guys. Because I've failed this mission so many times. Anything could fucking happen. Please shoot the wall. Please, 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 please. If you shoot something that's not the wall, I am going to get all kinds 
Alright, so all we did was shoot the wall. I don't know exactly when the battery died. I don't know if it, like, stops recording a minute before, or I mean, not like a minute, but like a few seconds before it actually says it's over, or whatever. But anyway, all the thing did was shoot the wall, and I don't really, I honestly don't really understand why they even have her show up, because, like, she just stood there. As you can see, she's still in the same exact position. I honestly don't really understand why they had her show up. Because, like, I mean, she's so ridiculously powerful that if she actually did anything, she would wipe my entire team out. And so because of that, they have to, like, they can't have her actually do anything. So what's the point of her showing up? Because she is powerful enough to just completely wipe out everything that I have. And then they just basically neuter her in terms of her AI so she doesn't do that. I don't know. It seems kind of weird to just have her show up because of that. I guess I should probably let this go through since I'm recording it. Tank itself is perfectly intact, but not for long at this rate. I like how his background is the mountains, even though he's inside the tank. Understood. I'll do that momentarily, sir. The enemy tank has been damaged. That should also impair its defenses, Sevens. Everybody, concentrate. Oh my god, do we still have to take out this take son of a bitch? I thought that was it. Oh god damn it. My life kinda sucks right now. All right, Vargo. Or Vargo, sorry. Vargo's a character that's... Motherfuck! <laughs> it's so scary. All right, no, we got this. Hurry up, hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> Dude, I cannot begin to describe how fucking scary this bitch is. I know you're back there. Get out here. Think I can? Ah, okay, we good. All right, so now I get three shots of him. <laughs> I got so fucking scared. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, this is gonna take so many shots. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this in one turn. There is just no actually shit. With that much, I might. I should actually see how much damage my own tank does to it. Let's see. Entering combat. Oh, that's barely any more damage. See, I don't know, for those of you that are not aware, that may not have, like, noticed, uh, using the tank actually uses up, uh, two of those action emblems instead of just one. And so because of that, Obviously, as long as I got an engineer here to re-equip Largo with more ammo, there really is no reason to not use his shit. Not use him. Thank you for that extra fire right there. I, I greatly appreciate your added fire. That was very useful and stuff. So I should actually summon. Since he only has one more left and I got two action points left. Just watch this. I am going to utilize my summoning abilities and bring in another. Bring in another Lancer so I can have more. Hopefully they won't fucking miss this dude. Despite the fact that he'll be way the fuck up there. But hopefully. Since it's such a gigantic ass target. Here's hoping they don't miss. It should only take one more turn. But it depends entirely because. Like this thing's gonna move. And it depends entirely on where she moves to. Because if she kills Largo, it may take like a couple more turns to get Nils into range and firing and stuff. That's yeah, fine. I'm not even mad about that. The thing that pisses me off the most, though, I tried this in the first game. I tried to get her to move a little bit. Oh, my God. That's it? See, like, they neuter her AI. Like, she should be killing everybody and everything that moves. 
but she doesn't do anything because like she is just that strong. Like you can't have her actually do shit because it, it would be unfair. I just don't understand. Oh my god, is he gonna be? Oh fuck me sideways! Fuck me sideways! Move, motherfucker! Vegetables indeed. I don't even know what the fuck that does. Alright, well, we almost won. Good, son. This motherfucker is done. As long as I can get this dude. Oh my god. Move, move, move! <laughs> Scary as shit. Alright, well. May as well. Let's just throw a grenade at it. Why not? I don't even know if that did anything, because it didn't show any of its health bars. A grenade didn't even do anything! Fuck you! I hate you. I appreciate how she joins in on every single one, shoots it a few times like three bullets. That's the reason why it's almost done. Not because of the not because of the rockets. It's pretty much all because of her added fire in there. Yes, I'm the best. See, it was the camera. The camera made it all possible. The fourth? I'm not sure if this is the fourth or the fifth time. The fourth or the fifth time is the charm. Your Grace, are you injured? Simbaria, plans for the wow. Marvel to the music is hella loud in comparison to the voice acting. In due time, Grace, you're in danger here. My men will see you to safety. We kill all your men, it's just you that's fucking crazy. Nice work out there, Lieutenant. I sent the rest of the Eastern team to join you there. It's a little late! Wilkes, the enemy forces have begun to retreat. And it's our turn to advance. Don't let Maximilian get away. See, the other thing that I'm a little, um... Oh, actually, never mind. Ignore me. That girl, the girl that was just shown right there, her, um, her voice actor is the same one as Estelle from, uh, Tales of Vesperia. Yay! We're the best! Everybody has an invincible fucking shield they can sit behind. It's not really the same. Ready? Fire! See, what the fuck is that shit? Did you see that? Like, why doesn't she just walk forward and kill everything? Such power. I see Gallia's peasant army has the will to win. All units, retreat! Protect his grace at all costs! Isn't it a little late? Everybody's already gone. <laughs> like, I don't know if you noticed, but everybody already ran right by you already. They're, just, they're already gone. They're already home. They're just sitting at home sipping on some tea and shit already. Okay. Well, I'll just show you this one last scene, because why the fuck not? Actually, never mind. This video's actually gone on for a while. It's probably at, like, 40 minutes right now. So, that was a little bit of the gameplay of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I do suggest you get it, although that mission right there, that was just a bitch. That was, like, the first hard mission so far. I hope there's more like it, because honestly, it was... Um, ooh, like, it was fun. It actually required uh, actual, like, planning and strategy and shit, not just, like... Run forward and shoot shit, which was good. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that little bit of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, hopefully, eventually, you know, I'll have some fighting game stuffs for all y'all. Yeah.